So hey everybody, I am over here on beautiful old Cape Cod. I came off the island uh, for a couple of days. I'm gonna meet up with some friends and play some Irish music later on this afternoon and I had some time to spare so I thought I'd do a little exploring, a little vlogging. And I am somewhere on the Cape Cod National Seashore. I don't know exactly where, uh, but the light is beautiful. The beach looks beautiful. There's some waves and it's going to be all brand new for me. So I'm looking forward to it. I have um, maybe about an hour, an hour and a half to do a little exploring. So we're going to see what we can see. As always, it's a little chit chat, a little scenery, hopefully some photos at the end. I'm liking the light, even though it's not the best time of day for photography. The light is pretty decent. Clouds that are coming and going, kind of an opaque filter once in a while. So, off we go. Oh yeah, this looks pretty nice. Love the sky. Love the dunes. Love the waves. This is not unlike our island beaches. I think I'm going to head down the beach and I think once I get behind those dunes I'll be out of the wind a little bit. can get back up there. Wow. Okay. We can do this. What goes down must go up or something like that. Yes, lovely beach. Could be South Beach in a way, but the difference between this beach and the Up Island beaches, at least on the vineyard, is that there are no glacial boulders here. It's all dunes and sand. I'm gonna walk down that way and see if there's anything to be seen. So yeah, this is a nice beach. Sandy, lots of dunes. I'm in the lee at the moment, which is good. Even though I did remember to bring my windscreen. I wish I could say the same thing for my trip up island the other day. It's funny how forgetting one little thing changes everything. Oh yeah, look at this, look at the waves. Look at the sky. I don't know if a film or photos are going to do justice to this place. There, to tell you the truth, there's not a lot of interest here. Not a lot of photographic interest that I can see. I mean, it's beautiful. I will say that, it's absolutely gorgeous. But as far as 
things to photograph. Well, I'm just looking at dunes, sand, ocean, and sky. And I don't know what I can do with, with these things. I may have mentioned this before, but I'm, I'm really not a landscape photographer. I am a people photographer. And of course, people photography has suffered quite a bit in the last couple of years because who wants to photograph people covered with masks? Who wants to photograph people with their faces covered? I know I don't. So I'm gonna keep walking and see what I can see, see what I can come up with. All right, one good thing is I see that the tide is going out. You can tell by the marks in the sand that the tide has been in and has gone out. I would not want to get stuck on the other side of these cliffs with the tide coming in. And I hope I'm right about this. I think I am. Looks like there could be an interesting break up ahead. Maybe a section of the beach that would be good for surfing. So I'm gonna walk down that way, take a look. I'll tell you one thing that's strange. The parking lot has quite a few cars in it, but there's nobody on the beach. I hope that doesn't mean that I'm someplace I'm not supposed to be. Oh, there are a couple of people down there with a dog. All right, okay. Here we go. So there's a little piece of driftwood here. Might make for some foreground interest. Try it with the long lens too. I rather like the shape of that driftwood. And these cliffs are very high. Very tall. Well, you know, they're, it's not like the cliffs of Moher or Gay Head Cliffs, but pretty big. I was skeptical about the light today. I thought it was going to be very sunny and clear. So I'm happy, happy to see this light. This is great light. There's some great sets of waves that come through here too. Just ocean rollers with an offshore wind. Nothing you could ride here. But lovely to watch. Of course, the funny thing is, growing up on Martha's Vineyard, we really didn't have too much to do with the Cape. 
When we left the island, we usually just went straight up to Boston. And this may be the farthest out I've been on Cape Cod ever in my life. I was first introduced to this end of the Cape. I guess you'd call it the Outer Cape. Through my friend, Rose Clancy, from Chatham Fiddles, a friend of mine that I play music with. And I have to say, this part of the Cape is really, well, it, I think they've done a pretty good job of keeping it simple and keeping it rural and keeping it from getting too built up. It's quite lovely. So it's not too cold. I want to say it's in the low 40s. There's a little bit of wind, but I'm in the lee. Mid-February, starting to be light a little bit later. 5.30 or so is the last of the light. I guess it's about a minute a day we gain in terms of the light. And I'll have to say after this winter, what with all of the craziness, I will be happy to see spring. I am not usually a fan of springtime. I'm, I'm usually happy to stay holed up in my den, creating and thinking and enjoying the dark. But this year is different. I think after two years of all kinds of craziness, it's going to be good to get everything back opened up, back to normal. So I hope I'm not wrong about the tide. Because some of these waves are coming up quite high. So here's another pretty piece of driftwood. And I, I like the lines that are curving around, the, the lines made from the waves. You'll see what I can do with this. Try it with the 70 to 200 first. See if I can bring in some of those lines. And now we'll go wide. We'll go wide and low. Lovely. So I don't know if that's a rock up ahead or part of the cliffs. I think it's actually part of the cliffs. There really are no rocks on this beach. Certainly no big boulders. That would, would be sort of random and out of place if it, if it were a rock. This looks like it could be a good surfing spot. Of course, everything changes from winter to summer in terms of sandbars and tides and whatnot. But I wouldn't be surprised if this is a surfing area. Nice little sandbar out there. Some nice little breaks. You can see I haven't changed much in the last 50 years. Always looking for a good surf spot. I think probably if I were to stop farther down the way at Marconi Beach, we would probably find some winter surfers out. And if there's time, I might just do that. Here comes a nice little set of swells.
also look at this funny piece of driftwood. It actually looks like a halibut or a flounder. I can see its eye and its tail. So this has been fun. I'm gonna head back once I came and get ready to play some music. It'll be good, haven't gotten together with these people for a while. Hope I remember some of the tunes. It's beautiful out here. Not a lot of interesting things, however. Not a lot to photograph. I see some of these lines in the sand. Some of these lines in the sand are kind of pretty. Might be able to do something with those. Yeah, I think that'll work. So while there's not a lot of obvious stuff to photograph, just means I have to look a little harder for some of the details. And of course, even if I don't end up with a ton of photos, there's nothing better than being out here listening to the crashing waves, all those negative ions getting stirred up. Nature is a good thing. Fresh air is a good thing. Exercising my body is a good thing. It's all good. Okay, I am headed out. This has been great. Really beautiful here. Very, very simple, very uncomplicated. Again, not a not what I would consider a lot of photographic opportunities, or maybe I'm just jaded because I, I see ocean beaches all the time. Beautiful. Okay, headed out to play a little music.